If you want to be successful in life, if you want to live your true identity and fulfill your purpose and the reason you were created, you absolutely, positively must believe beyond unbelief. Believe beyond unbelief. You must have belief beyond the unbelief that tries to come at you. I see so many people in life with such a massive calling and anointing on their life who choose to live their life in unbelief. And a great way you can see if you live your life in unbelief is if you are cynical, if you are negative, if you are pessimistic, if you have worry, anxiety, overwhelming fear on a regular basis, you are choosing to live your life in unbelief. And just so you know, all of those things, pessimism, negativity, cynicism, worry, anxiety, depression, all that is literally the worship language of hell. Why would you worship the enemy when you have been created in the perfection of God, the grand creator of all? Why would you choose to worship the enemy when you have an anointing on your life? Why would you choose to live your life as a victim and not step into the calling to cure the pain that you experience because that's your assignment from above and then give that cure away to the rest of the world so they can solve their pain too. In order to be successful in life, in order to live to the calling and purpose of your life, in order to truly embody and live in your heavenly identity here on earth, you absolutely must believe beyond unbelief, okay? And you can ask for God to remove your unbelief. Lord, I believe, help me in my unbelief. You can say those prayers. You can also take the action on a daily basis. You can understand who you are created to be by knowing your heavenly identity, doing the work to understand who God truly is, not what we've been programmed and conditioned with all these human limitations of what humans think God is, rather what God truly is, energy and love, okay? Love is energy, God is energy. God is love, God is energy. I see too many people living their life in fear, choosing to be pessimistic and cynical and choosing to resign themselves to a victim life and resign themselves to a lower level of existence. And I can see it because I did it for a lot of my life too. I get it. I used to be a little punk and live my life like that. And you wanna know what? The reason why people do that is is because they seek confirmation biased. Your perception is your reality. So whatever you perceive and you believe, that becomes your reality on a daily basis. If you believe that you're gonna be successful and fulfill your purpose, yeah, sure, things will still go wrong. Yeah, sure, adversity will hit your life. Yeah, failure is gonna be a regular encounter and experience in your life. However, when you believe that God works all things for his good, because that is truth, and so you can choose to believe truth, or you can believe lies, when you believe and know the truth that God works all things for his good, you can pull back from the emotional feelings and detach from the emotions of victim behavior. Why me? Why is it happening to me? And you can say, thank you, God, for this upgrade opportunity. Thank you, God, for this opportunity to depend more fully on you to get me through this, Lord God. Thank you for bringing me closer to you and removing my attachment to fleshly and carnal limitations so I can live in the supernatural limitlessness of who you created me to be. The way the human ego works is it will never be wrong. So it will convince you to overcomplicate things because when you find out that life is simple, only egos complicate, your ego will then try to convince you that it can't be that simple. It must be more complex than that. And then it will get you to go through all these imaginary evils and imaginary scenarios in your mind that don't even exist in reality so that your ego can be right and prove to you that it's more complicated than that. And so you'll never even take the action because then you won't be successful because it's so complicated and it's so difficult. You guys, life is simple. We must believe beyond belief. That's why I always talk about step zero is self-awareness. When you have self-awareness, you know who you are, you know why you're here, and you know what to do. This is what life is about, simplicity. Humans complicate things. Your ego wants to convince you it's more complex. Your ego wants to convince you that it's not gonna happen or that it's negative or that you're not gonna achieve the result or the experience that you're supposed to. 
And then confirmation bias kicks in and you will begin manifesting a reality and a world where your ego gets to be right and you never take the action and fulfill the calling on your life. It just blows me away how many people choose to be a total slave and controlled to the mechanisms that have been put in place by the powers that be and how many people choose to live their entire life in that existence of limitation while at the same time claiming they don't want to be controlled. Like seriously, how many people do you know who like freak out if they think they're being controlled, but then their emotions control them all day long? Their negative thoughts control them all day long. Social media controls them all day long. The shows that they watch on Netflix or other streaming services or listen to on podcasts and music they take in controls them all day long and they happily press into the control. Isn't that a crazy duality? Isn't that a crazy dichotomy in people? The only reason I'm aware of this is because I realized it in myself and I realized it in myself through elevating my awareness and realizing that I'm done perpetuating brokenness. First of all, inside of me by not believing the truth and not living in the truth, perpetuating brokenness inside myself by listening to the lies of the enemy and then agreeing to and making agreements on a minute to minute, hour to hour, day to day basis to perpetuate the brokenness of the carnal flesh driven world. It's done inside me and I'm done perpetuating it in the world. And I pray you can find the same path. I pray you can actually elevate your awareness. I pray that you can press into doing the hard work. Life is simple. There's no shortcuts. There's just discipline and resilience and consistent persistence and tenacity. And when you go after your purpose and you live your life on purpose and you press into the process, you build your joy in the process. You build the joy in keeping your word to yourself with your daily non-negotiable programming. You build success and joy in your life by understanding it's not about the outcome, it's about focusing on the process. It's about finding God through the journey. So as you are exiting Egypt, Babylon, slavery, wherever you're at in your life, that you're choosing to opt in to be a slave to others and the control mechanisms of others, and then you go out into your desert, into your wilderness, seek God and he will guide you. The way you can find God is, is God is your conscience. It is your authentic voice of God within you is your conscience. That's how you tap in. Do what your conscience says. Whatever you know that you've been needing to do that you haven't been doing, do it right now. Stop wasting time. Stop procrastinating. Stop choosing to opt into that control model. Choose to do the work to resolve yourself, to build awareness into your daily habits because awareness is just like discipline. It's just like resilience. It's just like tenacity. It's just like leadership. It must be taught. So we must be our own proctor. We must be our own guide and elevate our awareness and continue to elevate our necessity so we take action and we live to the calling that's on our lives. I pray that you find this path and I bless you with abundance and favor and fruition on your path and on your journey. Get to work. I love y'all. And always shine brighter.